Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World where we are taking a look at Farming Simulator's second easiest animal, sheep. Sheep are pretty darn easy to, to grow and I am using only base game for this. No mods installed whatsoever, at least none that will affect animals. Um, and I've got a sheep pen right here. We can see standard sheep pen. This point right here is where you will find your wool when sheep start producing. This is your feed trough here. And come around to the back of the pen. This will be your water trough where you will provide your sheep with water. And of course we have the sale point or the animal purchase point where we can open the animal dialogue and buy our sheep right here. However, unlike chickens, sheep we can actually transport in a trailer and save ourselves the cost of having them delivered let's go find some sheep shall we say that three times fast and as it happens on this particular map which is the pacific northwest i just happen to have my sheep pen set up right next to the animal dealer so the animal dealer is just right here and let's see if we can swing this around. I'll bet we can't, but I'm going to give it the old college try. Oh, yep, we sure can. So, we are at the animal dealer. We can hit R to open the dialogue. And since this trailer will hold any of the larger animals, we can pick our sheep right here. Now we have white sheep, brown sheep, black and white sheep, and black sheep and they all do exactly the same thing there is no distinction between them other than color so let's see how many we can get in here let's just try two a piece I don't know how many this trailer holds eight out of zero apparently we move two more confirm and I've got 10 sheep all nestled quite comfortably in my little trailer and we will just haul those back right over to our sheep pen now most maps will have some some sort of animal dealer there are a few that don't and you will have to manage that on your own those would be some type of mod maps but base most of the base game map or the, all the base game maps have uh, have animal dealers so that is a non-issue. So we pull right up to our pen. We can hit R again, and we can move all of these sheep right over to the farm. And this particular pen will hold 80. But we confirm, and now we can see we have got sheep in the pasture doing what sheep do. Walking around being very sheepish. Bad puns, I know. So at this point, We'll take a look at our animal pen and we can see in the dialogue we've got productivity, we've got food, and we've got cleanliness, and we have water. Unlike chickens, sheep need water. So, I keep comparing to chickens because chickens was the first uh, tutorial I did for FS19 animals. So, anyway, we need to give these sheep some food, but what I'm going to do just for the sake of helping down the road is I'm going to move a bunch. I'm going to fill this up and I'm going to get to about 60. That'll do. So we have 60 sheep we've just spent seventy-five thousand dollars on new livestock and like i said we need to give them some food and we can see right here that sheep take grass or hay it doesn't have to be both it can be one or the other and we no, we can't see that yet so bear with me i will show you that later because the pen doesn't keep up like the pen doesn't hasn't registered yet that there are sheep in there so i've got two bales of grass and two bales of hay and this is very much a mix or match type situation so 
with my two bales of hay if I just bring them over to the food trough without tossing them all over. This wasn't a very flat piece of land that I put this on, but we'll, we'll manage. So I put that in there. You can see that the hay, or the grass goes straight into the food trough. I've got to get this one off my forks before that grass will go in there. And then I'm going to go grab my hay because I'm sure we haven't even come close to feeding 60 sheep yet. And I don't even think four bales will necessarily do it. It might, but I don't think so. So let's grab our hay, get it around here. Now, you don't have to use bales for this, just so you know. If you've got loose hay stored somewhere, loose grass stored somewhere, you can just fill up a trailer, tip it right in. It will take it with no problem. Unfortunately, it won't take it if it's forked. So, yeah, there we go. So it took all four of those bales easy as pie. Now, we need to get them some water. So I do have a... A tank sitting right over here that just happens to be full of H2O. And all you have to do is grab your tank of water, bring it over to the water trough, like so. And it will let you know when you can start filling up with water. And I'm going to bet the sheep pretty well take everything in this. 7,500 liters. Yep, took every drop and probably could use some more. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. I'll get this out of the way. If we look at our animal dialogue now, yeah, we did four bales there. That's 16,000 liters, and they're only about half full, so they could use another four bales. Water, yeah, we're a little over half full. Our cleanliness is at 100%, and we still have no productivity, and that's simply because the sheep haven't caught up with what we've done for them yet. So at this point, what I'm going to do is fast forward by about a day, maybe a little bit longer, and... You'll see exactly where we're at at that point. Okay, so we are back and we're going to take a look at our menu first. Our cleanliness is only at 51%. I haven't done anything to this sheep pen since we last spoke. Our productivity, however, is at 95% and our sheep have produced 885 liters of wool. So they're actually cranking it out pretty well. Food still looks okay. Water still looks okay. Again, if these were full, the water and the food, this would last about 10 days. So you don't have to worry about filling it up every single day. We can also see that with our 95% productivity rate and 60 sheep, our reproduction rate is 46 hours. So we will get one new sheep every 46 hours. And the next animal will come in 21 hours and 45 minutes. Now... Like I said, cleanliness is down to 50%. And just like chickens, you need something with a bucket on it, at least <clears throat> to be straightforward about this. And you can see our sheep are really messy eaters. Look at this. They have spewed their food out all over the place. So you just come in with a bucket. You crash into the food trough. No, don't crash into the food trough. That's just bad driving on my part scoop up whatever is in their feed area look at that i just cleaned up after them and they're already making another mess as so you scoop that up and you can just tip that right back into the food trough because it's just grass apparently i gave them grass and hay they like the hay better and they're spitting out grass it's a, it's a bit of a sheep conspiracy against grass, I think. Oh, there we go. It's all empty. It just didn't look empty. So, our sheep are cranking out the wool. They are already making babies. And we have them well-fed and well-productive. And that is all there is to sheep. 
That's it. That's all. No more. Grass, hay, and water keep their pen clean, and sheep will start producing these pallets of wool. And this particular pallet has a thousand liters in it. This one has 920. If we look at our pen, it's going to show 920. That's the second pallet they've started producing. So we've got almost 2,000 liters of wool that we could take over and sell right now. And again, you just load that up on a trailer and take it to whoever's buying. That's usually the spinnery. But that's it for sheep. Sheep are very simple. And they will, will earn you pretty decent money. Although, um, again, with any farm animal in FS19, you kind of want to uh, have a lot if you want them to pay for themselves. So this is my tutorial on sheep for Farming Simulator 19. I appreciate you taking a look. And until next time, take care.